open water on New Hampshire ponds and lakes will soon become a more frequent sight. We have seen bob houses going through the ice, especially after warm snaps like this. And with the upcoming rain that we're going to be getting later this week, that is absolutely going to really reduce the ice thickness. Thin ice is not the only concern either. It's the time of year when ice jams are also an issue. The state right now keeping a close eye on them, like this one on the Piscataquag River, right on the new Boston Goffstown line. If we were getting another couple of inches of rain on top of the snow melt, it would be a different, different situation. But since we're not, we're not as alarmed as we, as we might otherwise be. State and local agencies are closely monitoring ice jams on five other rivers. And while people soak up the last few weeks of winter activities, a reminder about snowmobile trails, too. When you have a lot of snow, there's a lot more cushion. It's a lot easier to handle a snowmobile. Fish and Game responded to this crash in Marlowe over the weekend, just one of many, saying driver and experience and in a tension were factors. They warned trails change drastically over the course of just a day this time of year as the snow begins to melt. Overall, Fish and Game says calls will continue to be busy this season. This time of year, absolutely, if people aren't careful out on the ice, you could start seeing people going through the ice as well. So we always recommend to just be very mindful. You're always recreating at your own risk, so there are a lot of safety precautions that we recommend people abide by. And this is also the time of year when officers start to see bob houses falling through thin ice. And just a reminder tonight, those bob houses do need to be off lakes and ponds by April. We're live in Auburn tonight. I'm Charisse LeClaire, WMUR News 9.